G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at returning a string from a function. This may sound somewhat trivial, but there is some complications with strings, uh, which we're going to look at right now. So let's declare a function called 7. It's going to return a string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the result to 6. And if that's the case, I'm going to return 7. Otherwise, I'm going to return 0. So this is a rather strange looking function uh, because we are checking the result before uh, we've set it. But you might think that Delphi initializes strings to um, empty quite frequently in, in most cases. So therefore, uh, result and 6, or um, a blank string and 6, are different. So our result is probably going to be 0. And this is easy enough to test. We can just throw a button on the form, and it's on click. X and it's going to declare X as a string. So if we uh, run this, which is fairly easy to do, and click the button, we see we do get, indeed get zero as our result. So uh, that's our sort of confirmation. Uh, everything's nice and dandy. Uh, everything's working exactly as we expected except I'm going to throw this complication into the mix. I'm going to set x to 6 and then call the assign the 7 function to x and then show a message uh, that. So let's run that. Click our button and our result is now 7. So what is going on? So our little surprise is caused by the fact that when our result is a string and a few other types, we'll talk about it shortly, that instead, well, result is a special hidden variable and it gets passed in. So this means that we pass in this x variable as a parameter to the 7 function. Uh, 7 has no parameters, but the parameter is actually uh, present. And when we compare this, we're effectively comparing x to 6, and x is 6, and our result becomes 7. So that's a little bit weird. Now, I'm going to um, make things even more confusing. If I just comment out this and compile, we see we get no warnings. Now, we'd expect to see a result not uh, set type error message, uh, but that's not the case. So if I change this to an integer, and I'm just going to control shift P to make that an integer up the top there as well, this becomes 6 if result equals 6. return 7, else return 0. And I should better compile that. No, oh, of course, uh, x needs to be in. And we start off with 6. And compile. OK, that should all be good. So compiling fine, no warnings. If I comment out that we should get a warning. We've got one warning. Um, let me just see if I can bring that up. Okay, so we should now see in our messages the return value of function 7 might be undefined. But if I change this to variant, and 
x as a variant, and I need to do two string and more. Compile, that warning's gone away, and if I run it, our result is indeed 7. So this will also uh, be the case for uh, dynamic arrays, so if we did t, t array of integer, and I think interfaces as well, um, but yeah, I'm not sure. So x zero dot f result. Zero. Okay, and if I've gotten everything correct there, hopefully that'll run. We should still get our uh, seven as the result. Indeed, we do. So that's all I really wanted to demonstrate. The you need to be aware of this because you don't get. Um, a warning at all if you uh, have a path through your function that uh, doesn't set a result. And you can have this weird effect that whatever x is prior to the function being called is uh, can affect the result. And I'm sure there'll be code out there that relies on that. If, if you've ever seen any, uh, do make a comment in uh, down below. And I will see you in the next video. I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching.